Major announcement on the classified documents case coming on day one of the Republican National Convention, which is kicking off in Milwaukee. And of course, also coming just a couple of days after that assassination attempt on the former president. In light of that, the Secret Service says it is changing former President Donald Trump's security plan. That's right. Our Sue Ginamas talked to one state representative from the Treasure Coast who landed in Wisconsin yesterday. She joins us now in studio. Suji, you asked about what they're feeling about the safety. I did. I talked to State Representative John Snyder, who tells me he has the utmost confidence in the local and federal law enforcement agencies at the RNC. Representative Snyder says he and other lawmakers from the Sunshine State have been working together on state-level caucusing, grassroots activities and will be kicking off tonight with a Florida night. Snyder tells me he's excited about Republican lawmakers from all across the country coming together to show their support for Mr. Trump. The Martin County Palm Beach lawmaker also tells me that members of the Florida delegation are staying at a hotel, which also happens to be the site of former President Theodore Roosevelt's attempted assassination in 1912. As we've gone from shock into gratitude and, of course, the investigation will continue to unfold, one of the parallels that was made with President Trump is that he could be this generation's Teddy Roosevelt. And lo and behold, we walk into our hotel room uh, and there we are at the site uh, of, of the attempted assassination. And so it just reminds us again uh, how grateful we are uh, that President Trump's life was spared and how thankful we are for the first responders here on site keeping us safe. And among other local leaders from our area in Wisconsin right now are Boca Raton Mayor Scott Singer, the Republican Party of Palm Beach County, State Representative Rick Roth, and one local Delray Beach woman who is a member of the Trumpets who will be speaking at the convention tonight. Reporting the studio, I'm Suji Namfor, WPBF 25 News.